Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl Shauna, and today's video is all about my pre-op penicillectomy appointment with plastic surgery. So if you're new here, my name's Shauna. I have vertical sleeve gastrectomy on September 24th of 2020. I'm almost one year out. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's been a year already. So if you're new, please like, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into the video. Okay guys, so my appointment was literally like three weeks ago. I'm super late. Yeah. Okay, Ken, quiet, babe. <laughs> so my appointment was three weeks ago. I tried to do a live and tell you about my appointment, but but like, what's wrong? Okay, we'll go finish filling your buckets. It's okay. It's okay. He's mad at me. Um, but yeah, my appointment was three weeks ago. I tried to do it live, but the live was glitchy and it kept cutting off, so I just deleted it. So here we are. Um, so my appointment again was three weeks ago. I met with a surgeon who works for the hospital that I work for, which is Johns Hopkins Hospital. And she specializes in um, cosmetic surgery. For, well, I, can't, I guess we can't even call it cosmetic because it's not cosmetic. Anyhow, she specializes in surgery for people who had bariatric surgeries, so um, that's why I chose her because you know she's more familiar with people who've had big weight losses. So I had I started my appointment. She asked me why I wanted to get the surgery, and of course, like I told you guys, I told her that I was having some skin irritation. Um, if you are not aware of what you have to do to get your insurance to pay for your surgery i'll put a video right here to show you you can watch that i tell you all the things you can do to get your insurance to pay for your tummy tuck after um significant weight loss or after bariatric surgery um so the, the doctor she was super nice she said that i had lost enough to get approved for the surgery she said because of the skin irritation it makes me a candidate to have the surgery and um the visit was a video visit so it was a little weird because <laughs> Because she couldn't like touch me or or see like the um, amount of fat in my stomach area, she just had to look. So I had to legit like pull my shirt up and my shorts down and like do a three <laughs> three sixty in the middle of my kitchen floor. Um, but she did tell me that because of my age and I'm you know younger, that I might would benefit better from having the paniculectomy plus um, a tummy tuck. So, so basically, she said, they're kind of the same. So a paniculectomy is when they take the panel part of your, like, fupa area and they cut that off. And then they pull your stomach down, stitch it back up, and they redo your belly button. And that's it. A tummy tuck is when they um, cut the panel off, pull the stomach up, tighten the muscles, pull the stomach back down, reconstruct your belly button, and then sew you up. Hey! Whoa, that is so nice. Go find some more. Go look in the playroom and find some more. I can. Go look in your toy box. I bet you you find some. So I was all on board for that, of course, because I had been doing a lot of research and looking at people who had paniculectomies, and I was like a little... <laughs> Sorry, guys. I was a little nervous about it because some people's look fine and some people's look deformed a little bit, and so I was scared, and I was like, I'll just pay for a regular tummy tuck because... It's something about that look that I don't really care for. And no offense to anybody who's, who's had that. You know, if insurance pays for it, then by all means, go for that. But me, personally, I just didn't like the look of it on some people. So it scared me, basically. So I was so excited when she told me that. So one, the insurance will not pay for anything that says tummy tuck on your paperwork. So she said what she's going to do is she's going to submit to the insurance for me to have the paniculectomy. And then she is going to put the tummy tuck as a diagnosis code or a procedure code, I mean, on my claim for the insurance, but she's going to charge me the difference. So say a paniculectomy is $6,000 and a tummy tuck, a full tummy tuck is $10,000. The insurance is going to pay the amount for the paniculectomy and I'll pay the difference between the paniculectomy and the tummy tuck, if that makes sense. So if it was $10,000 and $6,000, I would pay $4,000, which is fine with me because Everybody who I called said the tummy tucks were like $10,000, which I did not have that. And even if I did, I wouldn't want to spend it on something cosmetic. <laughs> so I'm just excited that they're going to be able to do it. She did tell me that my insurance will not approve it until I'm 18 months post-op 
or if I submit all my documentation of my irritated skin to try to get them to pay for it early and approve it. Okay, go look in your room, babe. Maybe in your room. Sorry, guys. <laughs> so I um, submitted everything to the nurse that she told me to, and she submitted everything on her end as well. But I think I want to wait the 16 months because I still want to lose some weight. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So overall, the appointment was really good. I'm going to have to keep you posted. We're going to have another appointment in a couple weeks just to follow up and see what the insurance does say. So I'll let you know then. But I think I do want to wait the 16 months because that's four or five more months to wait. And then it will give me more time to lose more weight. So that's that. That's what happened. It wasn't that much. Um, she did say I can lose between four to ten pounds just from taking the excess skin and stuff off so that's nice <laughs> so before we go let me show you how I'm looking excuse me like in my shorts and all so guys I to help aid in losing the stomach on my own I like literally walk around with a waist trainer on all the time um this is what they would cut off I'm not gonna put my clothes down because I'm not that comfortable yet but penecolectomy is when they take that part off and yeah I, I just want this to be gone. But yeah, I walk around with this one all day because it helps. It makes you like pull your frame and it helps you like tighten your core. So that helps. But yeah, so these next few months, I'm going to try to lose as much as I can so that when she does do the surgery, it won't be as much fat or skin to, to remove. I'm so nervous. I've never. VSG was like my only surgery I've ever had for real. So. I feel like tummy tuck penicillectomy surgery is worse because I'm actually going to be cut. And I'm so nervous about that, but we got to do what we got to do because I can't have this saggy stomach hanging on me. <laughs> um, if you saw my last video, I did get my rower, so I'm going to start my rowing challenge. So stick around for that. And that's it, guys. If you're new, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not following me on um, Instagram, do so at Simply Sleeve Shauna, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.